It's quiet. Well, isn't that a surprise? There's the ritual site. But if the gods really did get out, they're not here anymore. Right, let's take a look around and see if we can find it. Strife? Irlin? It's me, Lace Harding. Harding? What are you doing back in Arlathan? It's complicated. I can see that. Rook, Nev, this is Strife and Irlin. Varric and I met them when we first started hunting down Solus. They're veil jumpers, experts in ancient elven magic. Hardly experts. I should have been able to shut that artifact down. I'm sorry, Tarith. It's not your fault. Since the sky ripped open, the magic's been surging. Bunch of artifacts that had been dormant for centuries started coming alive. This is because of Finn Harrell's... Sorry. Solus's ritual, isn't it? You all were supposed to stop him. We found Solus and stopped his ritual. But things took a turn. The magic went wild. Solus was dragged into the Fade into some kind of prison. But when he went in, something, or someone else got out. Elganan and Gilanane, supposedly. Mathalanast. The return of our gods, the Evanuris. If those two are back out in the world, it explains a lot. Like what? Artifacts that have been dormant for centuries are awakening. Something that would need a source of tremendous magical energy, like two of our old gods. So Elganon and Gilanane are loose, which means what? You thought Solus was bad. He's a bit of a bastard, true. But next to them, let's just say they weren't known for their kindness. There's a reason Solus led a rebellion against the Evaniris, and a reason he imprisoned them. But now they've escaped. Tarith is in bad shape. We need to get him back to the camp. We've still got dozens of Veil Jumpers unaccounted for. How can we help? We need to find Bellara Lute. She's the best there is at working with our ancient artifacts. And also at blowing them up. She was off looking for another artifact before this ritual shook everything loose. If anyone can get a handle on all this wild magic and the artifacts it's setting off, it'll be her. Right. You get your friend back to your camp and... <sighs> we'll find Valara. Nev, you're injured. Stay here with the Veil Jumpers. It's a headache. I'll be fine. I know you want to help. But we don't know what we'll face out there, and you're in no condition to fight. All right. Just watch your backs. We'll meet you back at the Vel Jumper Camp. It's just south of here. Valara's out near some elven ruins to the west. At least she was three days ago. I'd start your search there. Good luck, Rook. And thank you. What is... Is it me, or is there something strange about this fog? It all feels a little off. Like everything shifted a little bit. 
You don't say. Can we talk about the magical artifact in the sky? Can we also open that freaking inventory at long last? Apparently, we cannot. So apparently I can change my casual wear, but not my gear yet. I hate that when games do this. Is there a freaking mode that advanced combat settings? Can we just, you know, enable the systems of the freaking game? Because I really don't, couldn't get it. Like, I hate, I hate that this is in Inquisition. I hate it here. Uh, subtitle. Utter. Let's try that. Uh, <laughs> yep. Is that suit of armor moving? Where'd you come from? Ballora? Ballora Luter. Strife and Eelin sent us to find you. Who are you, exactly? Call me Rook. Lace Harding. Protocol is to wait a full week before they send anyone out to look for me. I've only been gone three days. Well, the situation's changed. For the worse, unfortunately. Our gods, Elganon and Gilanane, They've escaped from Fenharel's prison, and by all accounts, they want to destroy the world. Oh, yes, that is very much for the worse. Okay, wait, I need a second. I've had a couple of days, and I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. It does sort of explain a few things, though. Like what? The surge of raw magic in the area. These artifacts started waking up a while ago, but in fits and starts. One here, a couple there. Then, a couple of days ago, the sky split open. And now, raw magic. Thick as fog. Only a god, or gods, could have done that. There's something kind of exciting about it. And dangerous. Really dangerous. Dangerous enough that I was gonna head back to the Veil Jumper camp, but... But what? See that shimmer? That's a Veil Bubble. It's separating us from the rest of the real world, so to speak. You can only pass through it one way. Once you're in, you can't get out. We don't have time for this. Let's just force our way out. Oh, I wouldn't do that. I don't know what contacting that much raw magic would do to you. But there's another way. A bubble like that? There has to be something at the center that's generating it. Something powerful. If we can find it and remove it safely, I mean, the bubble itself should collapse. And then we're back in reality? I really, really hope so. Well then, let's get going. Ah, uh, yes. Can we... Nope. Oh, we can't. I wonder how long this game is going to torture me about Someone this. Someone made camp all the way out here? We've got camps all over Arlathan. The Veil Jumpers do, I mean. What's Never that? really know when or where the magic's gonna start going wild. Hmm. Okay. Oops. Gotta be careful. 
So I've already had quite a few transitions here. I've been trying to get to the artifact at the center of the bubble, but these magical constructs keep getting in the way. We've handled our share of demons. A few dozen more shouldn't be a problem. Spirits, not demons. They're animating those suits of armor. The armor's attuned to the artifact to protect it from threats. Threats like us, I'm guessing. Maybe. What is that? That's the edge of the bubble. Can't pass through it. We need to shut down the artifact first. Oh, okay. So that's our way out. But that doesn't mean we don't explore. I see you. Is that water just swirling into the air? We call that kind the whirlpool. The anomaly, I mean. Never seen one this size, though. There we go. This really feels like God of War. Let's see what's up here. Hmm. Can go up. Ah. That's interesting. But why put this path up here? that goats so wait has time stopped or something I have no idea not not carving Demons. right where we need to go then I still with them quick okay so Controls, companion ability. You're fucking kidding me. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Okay. Can't. Right. I can't change them. What the hell? Okay.
Yeah, use that. Well, at least we're gaining experience. So what is this artifact we're looking for, exactly? I have a couple of theories, but nothing definite. We might find some clues in the ruins, though. So the green barrels give you a potion. Nice jumping though, Rook. I don't usually see elven ruins that haven't been picked. There we go. Finally, my fucking inventory is there. Over. Not many people come this far into Arlathan. Just veil jumpers, mostly. And people trying to save the world, apparently. Mm-hmm. Thank you. What was this place? Could have been a temple, could have been where they stored food. But judging by the sentinels, it's probably something... Wow. I've never seen anything like this. Wait. Is this... No! It can't be. Not here. Can't be what? We have to get over there. The artifact we're looking for must be inside. It almost feels like an armory. Or something like that. What's an armory doing this far out? Warlords. Ancient elves had a lot of them. Hold on. What we got? Hmm. Can I get up there? Seems so. Is there anything up here? No. Are we just supposed to jump across? Oh, no, we can make a bridge. There should be a power crystal somewhere nearby. There is. Got it. Oh, this is very much God of War. And there we go. Easy. Huh. That's a great trick. The moving crystals to open bridges. <laughs> a resonance amplifier. It's drawing magic from the Ring Temple to this area. I need to shut it down before we can go up the path. But doing that will attract anything nasty that's hanging around. We're ready. We're not ready. Shut up. Also, I really hate Bolara's character. It's nothing personal. It's just like... The fucking Sarah type... Characters can go burn. <clears throat> if there's anyone that's that I will allow to die in this game, it is going to be freaking her. Sorry, it's gonna be happening. Oh, but she's a nerd. She's a cute ner uh, Asian nerd. Yeah. Okay. I don't think any elf in. I kind of care if she's Asian. Though I do care that... Like, no elf in Dragon Age has at this point... At any point in time... Been portrayed as Asian. Just saying. Okay. Why can't I just click tap so she can use it? They're aiming for us. 
No, no, you don't. Alright, you guys deal with that. Good to go again. Oh, we got a jumping attack. Okay, I think I want my companions to shut up. It's a, It was annoying enough with Atreus and Freya. Also, Mimir shouting shit when you don't care about it. That's the last of the magic energy. Good. That should be clear ahead. Oh, what's here? Hmm. So the question is, can I customize? My companion gear and like, I, I imagine I should be able to write, but I don't see anything I could do. So we're here. What? Okay, game. We'll just accept that. Okay, so I gotta say this. From the perspective of it respecting the previous games, it's really bad, right? Like, it's obviously... From the perspective... Now, I'm not gonna say it's not the Dragon Age game, because that's a load of bullshit. Every single Dragon Age game has been very different than the previous one. However, I gotta say this. how they died. I don't know how to feel about the story. Have trouble with the artifacts here. They expect them to work like, you know, normal magic. But they're different. The magic's more alive somehow. Mm hmm. Truffles? Really? Where's the pigs? Damn. Another sentinel construct. We'll have to take it down. Whenever you see one, there's more nearby. I'm really fun uh, having fun with this, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm actually enjoying this. Seeing these kinds of ruins never gets old. Can anything here tell us what that artifact is? This is the best combat they system in the theory, series. But we're miles away from where that artifact should be. Okay, where's the damn... Wait... Let's 
let's check if there is actually. You know, that reminds me of some of the music from Inquisition. That theme that's playing right now. I know it's subtle, but it is. You know, the Temple of Mephal music? What do we got? Hmm. Okay. Are we going to fight all four at once? Okay. Yep. These constructs. It means I was right. Right about what? About where we are. It's an armory. And I think I know what the artifact is. Now that was easy enough. That may not necessarily be so much. I got hit too. I doubt Gana would have been so generous. assist on? I don't know. That's an inactive core. I know there's some potion I left behind. Wait, are you serious? Door behind us is locked. Fair enough. At least... Not sure how to feel about that. On one hand, it means you don't get the chance to pick up stuff that you may have missed. On the flip side... So what kind of artifact shows yeah. up in an armory? A weapon? An archive spirit. A what? A creature of the Fade, bound to a crystal. Our ancestors used them to store knowledge and to help them dream. What's this? Dark spawn. They look different. Mythalinast. Dark spawn. Ah, yes. All right, everyone. Maybe I shouldn't have used that on. Lightning is pretty calm. Here, I never would have believed it until today. You wouldn't have believed a lot of things, lady. What's that noise? I don't know if it means anything, if it's just... One stereotype, by the way, I do dislike heavily, I should add. 
is this idea of like the history archaeology nerd that's so bubbly inside. I say this as someone who spent a lot of time among historians. Actual his and including archaeologists. Uh yes, there's certainly enthusiasm and all that. But from my experience dealing with historians, and as someone who would have been a historian if things had worked out differently in certain ways, you tend to have a more serious outlook on things. Another one of those resonance amplifiers. Get oh. ready. Once I shut it down. Yes, yes, the yes, yes. Will remain blocked until the magic dissipates. We've got your back. Sure, here we go. Oh, so the path behind us will dissipate, okay. Where are they? These are like ghouls. They're not really dangerous. That Where are they? Get clear. Oh, she's a rogue. I've never seen Dark Spawn this deep into Arlathan Forest before. As far as I know, it's never happened. If the gods are blighted, like Solus claims, maybe they're communicating with the Dark Spawn somehow. Directing them? You saw those Dark Spawn, though? Something was different about them. And we'll stop them once we get out of this bubble. Right. Let's get to that central temple. Priorities, yep. <clears throat> so. The darkspawn are different because of the elven gods. I swear, if they go down the path, which I always feared that they would, of like, the elven gods created the world. And the golden city was created by the elves. Yeah. You know, I remember Bioware developers saying that they would never answer questions of, like, was the maker real or not? I suspect that particular question is either going to be ignored. Whoa. Okay. The wall looks weak here. I bet we could break it somehow. Yeah. So I'm still wondering about those, though. Okay, what we got? Really? I wonder if that ballista could smash through this wall. More dark spawn, right where you got that. <laughs> Wait, playing a turret section in a Bioware in a Dragon Age game? That that's clearly what uh, was was the highlight of. Uh, what the? Uh, of like Mass Effect Three, the turret sections were really great in Mass Effect 3, guys. <laughs> this is not how Ballista shoots, by the way. Can we just stop? I mean, I knew that there would be enemies here. You don't put... You don't see game developers putting that many barrels unless there's actually gonna be foes, right? Good. Oh, why am I? I just keep looking at the side. If this game is based on God of War, and I can tell you for a fact that another resonance amplifier. Yep. Should be the last one, I hope. Me too. Can we not do this? It's like... Oh, 
Why is this? Am I gonna be stuck carrying Balara with me all the way? And no, not just in this level I'm talking about. Down. Good. Close. I can feel it. Are we though? How close? Have you noticed something about the blight? Where it is? I mean, it's almost like it's feeding off the elven magic. You know what's kind of funny about the elves? In uh. In how the game, in how Dragon Age has evolved, it's like in Origins, right? There was like almost like, oh, you're sorry for the elves for all they've lost and all that that, that they've done, right? For, for what's all that's happened to them. But then you play Inquisition and this game, and it's like you're starting to feel like the elves got what they they fucking deserved. That they were always that gigantic, arrogant douchebags. I concerned their civilization for a moment. Built on enslaving themselves, their own people, enslaving spirits. We got there. If that building's what I think it is, then the alignment means we're here. This is it. This is where it was kept. Where what? what was kept? The archive spirit, or as the ancient elves called it, the Nodis Durthalin. It means the inevitability of knowledge. What does that mean? I don't know, actually. The notes were never very clear on that. I plan to find out. No, we are dealing. Okay. Looks like this 
door is going to need a second power crystal. Then let's go find one. Common arcane orb. Yeah, let's see what's that. I see. I see that as well. But how do I get there? Well, at least it's fast. There has to be another one of those... Another ballista. I bet we could use it to break through that wall. Oh, that's one way. There's your second orb. Well, let's see what else there is. The Nautis Dirthalen. I have so many questions for it. How do you ask it questions? It's an archive spirit. You'll see. I don't think I want to. Alright. Go see Insaniot. <laughs> 